weird and I'm in no mood for your job. Do you hear me? Man, I'm not playing. Get out of here or I'm kicking your ethereal ass. Ethereal? I don't even know what that means. Welcome back to Gear Chat. Yeah. Welcome back to Gear Chat University. Welcome back to Gear Chat University. I am the Capitan. Junji. Hey man, let me calm this down a little bit. Let me calm this down. Let me get straight to it. So last time, ah, last time I asked y'all, uh, what did y'all think about the state of music? And I didn't really get many replies, but um, kind of where I was going with that whole thing is I'm just having a, I'm having a, a personal moment myself. And I don't know about you all, but for me it, it uh and it probably be more just because of my circumstances in in, in a way but <clears throat> long story short i am falling heavily in love with ipad production basically software and not so much just the computer i mean i i'm i'm, I'm really it's crazy because I, I got the M1 Mac fast and all of that, but honestly, I don't even want to touch the mouse. Something about the iPad and the hand, that is, is like a piece of gear now. You know, it's there's the, because the screen is the gear. So it's the iPad, man, I just, I can't say enough great things about the iPad. Um, it's, it's just I don't know it's just the way it uh, infuses everything with uh, being able to touch and play and maneuver I mean and there's no one app but if you start using multiple apps like it's it's a real joy and so what I'm finding is that like I'm wondering Cause I'm, I'm, you know, as as the kids, as the kids would say, I'm an old head, right? 
and I'm really a gear person. Like I love gear. I also love software or I don't mind software. I like software. I don't mind a, a mouse. I love working with a mouse where at least I used to. But I must say now today, because I've been using the iPad and for so long now, then when I go back to using a mouse, it feels like a drag to work with live. Like I just wish live was on the tablet now. That's what I'm basically wanting. Even though live has so many pieces of gear that you can just use and then upload to live to complete your production, um, i.e. the RC505. Um, I have several pieces of gear, the Korg, all of the Korg uh, Chaos Pads, um, the little Korg Chaosolator, uh, the Korg Gadget, all are live compatible uh, instruments. So I can essentially take all my gadget beats, upload them into live and have perfect loops, everything up there, everything will be there so I can continue the production. But the problem that I'm having with that is that I really don't want to touch this mouse. So I tried the whole, because with the M1, you can use the sidecar with the tablet. I tried that and it wasn't, like on theory, it sounds like amazing, but in practice, it wasn't working like that. It was kind of because your finger becomes a mouse and I, the experience was it felt botchy. It didn't feel as good as the words on the paper. Like the con, like when you say it, it's like, oh, I bet. Then when you go to use it, it ain't quite like that. So hopefully it'll get better or, you know, if it, hopefully it'll just get better. But I would just like the live to just come to the tablet. Because if that were to happen and the tablet gets a little bit more oomph, it already has, I'm, I'm using a, oh, I'm using a 2018 Pro. It hasn't sneezed, stuttered, or nothing. And I do plan on getting the 21 Pro model when it come out later. Or maybe, I think it comes out in March. I'll probably get it later this year, though. Sometime late 21. Because I just want it, you know. I guess you can call me FOMO, which is really not. Because I passed on so many iPads. I mean, I'm not that person where I gotta have the, I gotta have the, no, no. But I do want this new one because it's been a couple of years and I just want to see what the, you know, what, what the current bee's knee is. So. So me being an old head and B being someone that really loves gear, I'm wondering what is someone that is 17 years old? What are you guys? Everybody that's 20 and below or 25 and below. What are you guys using to make gear? Like, I mean, using to make music. Do you even have a connection? Because you got to figure everybody 25 and below, all that nostalgia, all of that crap is out the window. They don't really, they're not really connected to the NPC and all of that stuff that we be holding reverence to. They don't have no connection to that. At least I'm, I'm going to speak for the majority of them because how would they unless someone put them on because they weren't here for it. So I don't think that they would even have that same, like I say, reverence. Their their whole thing is whatever. So to me, a, a, a 15 year old kid today, a 12 year old who's interested in music, I would think they would be making music on their phone, tablet, and you know, Nintendo Switch has the gadget is on there. Listen, Korg is killing the game with the silently. The gadget is like. I love gadgets. The only thing that I would, I ain't gonna say it's a fault, but once you've made, you know, so many tracks or beats or whatever, it's only so many instruments. And so it gets to a point where I, I know exactly the sound I want and what instrument to give me that sound. <clears throat> but then it becomes a thing of how do I get this next beat to not sound like all the other beats? And that's where I would use, you know, other gear, pedals, and so on and so forth to tweak and add more character and change those sonics that are built in Gadget. But when I tell you Gadget is my favorite uh, platform or DAW on, on the tablet, like I, I've made beats on Beatmaker 3, I think I have, or 2. Um, I never got into Cubases. I have it. Never really quite got there because, I don't know, I just never got there. Um, what's the other one I got? I'm loving Sampler. 
oh my god this thing eight years i can't believe that's eight years old i'm just now getting it this year i saw a video i want to say by um it was either uh the uh jacob jacob yokup with the yeah jacob hack i think that's his name him or either henny one of them two I don't remember exactly, but I know for certain, it, yeah, it was one of them. I, 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 actually, I may have watched a video on Sampler, definitely from both of them, but I don't know who I saw at first. But anyways, that software is eight years old. The person that made it is now working for Apple, is from what I understand. Um, and I guess the Sampler app is comparable to the SP404. Yo, the app is just, I mean, it's a funky, cold Medina app um, and how it chops up samples. But next to that, in terms of ease, that koala pad is, the koala pad is ridiculous. But sampler, S-A-M-P-L-R is how it's spelled. They're not, it's not updating anymore. Like I said, it's an eight-year-old uh, program. And I don't know how, when the last time it was updated. It may have been some odd years ago. It's probably not going to get updated because I said the person that uh, designed this program, Apple snatched them up. So with that being said, though, I am I've been I've been called this. I don't know why Apple hasn't made some gear, some uh, controllers. Unless I'm missing that. I don't think they have because I've, I've said that a while back. I don't understand why Apple doesn't make controllers and they already have logic. It would just make sense that they would do kind of like what korg is doing with apple like everybody the apple has a craze that is unparalleled once you put the apple logo on it that's like a that's like a stamp of apple nike it, once you put that symbol on there it means something so and i know some people that are anti-apple i get that but as an apple brand even if you anti-apple for whatever reason because you don't like that locking because I was that way for a long time I didn't like the fact you try to pull me into this world and now I'm locked into this world once you make one product I mean once you buy one product and you take one foot it's like a suction it's like quicksand it's gonna pull you in I'm sorry it's going to pull you in it start with a phone then you got the tablet for me it was the desktop I got the desktop first because it was my only way of getting into the game because you know Apple has been high as a draft's ass for a long time well the the the, the mini was affordable for me I, I oh snap how much seven uh, this was back in what seven sixteen I want to say oh I'm sorry I bought my Mac mini back in like 12 or 13. So it's old, and I so I just got the new one last year. But yeah, so this this is uh thirty yeah like twelve thirteen like this is so this is what a ten year old Mac. I just not realized that almost ten years old. I know I need to get that mud. I need to get that fan blown out because that mud running. This been running slow, and I think I know why. Anywho, um, yeah. So I just feel like you know the interaction with me and the music the tablet is a winner and it is a it's a um it's a uh, a swiss army knife as soon as you get done making music you can go to i mean whatever you want to watch a movie make a document surf the web pay a bill i mean it, it's everything so yeah i just i just love this uh, the, the the tablet um i've kind of even shied away from my phone my phone has become a phone now like I, all i do is phone talk text and social media i used to be making pictures and do all my digital art on the phone at one time i've made so much art on my phones you know back when i all my android phones like so much art um but the tablet i mean come on man i'm starting to I, it took me a while to get here but now i'm into this and once you I'm saying once you do this and this ain't just a regular stylus because the stylus don't really cut it for me I'm like eh, I'd rather just use my finger but that yeah it's a, yeah better than my finger so I just I don't know I, that's just my little rant uh, on the 
on the uh, iPad because I freaking love it. Um, I think it's just like, like I said, it's just, there's always somebody coming out with some other new app. Now, in terms of how Henny use it, I ain't got there yet. I ain't gonna lie to you. Uh, how he uses AUM and how he uses uh, that as the mixer to run all the other gear, I, I know. I'm, I'm still, I'm so, and this has come from the days of me just being on gear. I'm so used to making all, like the full beat on one machine. I struggle to use two pieces of gear because if I can make all, you know, I mean, I can do everything over here. So it's like, it becomes a real struggle for me. Like I have to just put a hard wall up and say, all right, this is going to be your kick and snare. And then this is going to be, even though this other machine that's the kick and snare can do it all, we're just going to dedicate and then dedicate this to that. And I have to be real rigid in terms of how I look at it because otherwise I'll just get locked in on that one piece of gear and then everything else I'm just looking at it like it's just here um so yeah um that was it I ain't really I ain't really had nothing new as far as um <clears throat> new comings or whatever I just saw Sonic State talk about tone transfer which it's a Google thing I mean, live been had that right. Live been turning melodies into drums and and been kind of doing that thing. So uh, yeah, I mean, I guess you know whatever. Um, I, I believe it's free, so that's you know that's cool. You can sing and do all these things. Take sound, take one sound and turn it into another sound. So it's called tone transfer. So I can sing or have birds chirping as they displayed and then turn that into a trumpet or turn that into a violin so it's just taking one sonic transferring it into another so that's the general concept like i said i feel, I feel like live been had that with the whole turning the melody into drums and uh, taking bass lines out of the music and stuff like that but it still lends to the software world so uh, is it is this are we embarking upon a little bit of a shift because you know it was gear for years and then software came in and software became real dominant pro 2 and the pro 2 era it was all about a computer yeah what was the the the, the g mac 5 everybody had to have that like apple was king of the hill there but now I feel like there's a turn. It's all because of this tablet. It's, it feels like it's starting to inch more back towards software. Like it's been a thing. It's not overnight, but it, I can just feel like it's really just it's just chugging along. It's just chugging along. Software. And it's been kind of coexisting a while for a while. But I feel like there could be a shift to where the trend becomes more software and like gear is like secondhand. Um, I could be wrong on that, but maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just my internal clock shifting that way. But I definitely am in love with Gadget and how the Gadget is working. That is a fact. This is John G, John G TV. I'm glad y'all uh, chimed in, checked me out, whatever. Uh, yeah. 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 Matter of fact, speaking of Gadget, John, you got some tunes for us? You got a little something for us? Perhaps? Perhaps I do. Perhaps I have something fresh. Fresh out of the stew. I'll play this one. This is not... It's not a banger, as I would say, but... You know me, I love to be different, or if you don't know that.
You can't get no replay, John G. Nope. <laughs> no. No replay for you, John G. John G TV. Have a good week, man. Have a blessed week. Uh, make great music. Have fun. Be safe, people. And I'm out.